Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is one of my many holiday looks that will be coming. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment down below what you think of this look. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. Starting off with a fresh face, I am using my babe, my boo, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It is perfect, perfect to apply prior to doing a full face of glam makeup. Next, I am moving on to my Milani Concealer. I am first laying that concealer down so that when I apply my liquid foundation, no dark circles, old acne scarring will peek through. I am going for full glam today. This is a classic holiday makeup look with a bold red lip. So my skin is serving perfection especially when I pull my hair back up in a bun, I am serving all face. And when I wear my hair up, I want my makeup to be slayed. I want my makeup to be beat and I want full glam perfection. The foundation that I'm applying right now is the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation. It is amazing. I have been using it for years. I am now highlighting with my Milani Perfect Conceal Concealer. The items that are being used in this video will be listed down in the description bar below. So please don't hesitate to go check it out if you are interested in using any of these products for yourself or in your kit. Next, I am blending out my concealer. Mind you, I left my concealer to dry down for about 30 seconds. Granted, this concealer is already full coverage, but I like to sit it down for like 30 seconds so that I can get the maximum coverage out of my products. I do that for my foundation as well. Blending it in with a Morphe sponge that is damp. I use this sponge every time I do my makeup. I honestly need to purchase about three more. Next, I am cream contouring. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you're going to be like, wait, I've never seen her cream contour. You're right, boo. You haven't. And it's because I usually don't. But as I said, this is a full glam look with my hair back. Yes, I'm cream contouring because I want to add dimension to my face. I want to add structure to my face. I want my face to be carved up nice like a pumpkin. I want to give the snatch look. Next, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my concealer. And I'm using my e.l.f. Blush brush to place it in the areas that I have highlighted. Next, I am setting my entire face with my Maybelline Superstay powder. Again, details will be listed down in the description bar on what colors I am using. Next, I am using my Black Radiance powder contour palette and I'm using the color Sculpt. I love this color. I literally only purchased that palette just for that color. The rest of it goes to waste. So just letting you know if you're my skin complexion or a tad bit lighter or slightly darker, you can really use that Sculpt powder and it will do it for you. But the thing I love about Black Radiance is that they have an even darker 
shade in that palette. So if you're significantly darker than me, they, they have you covered. Next, I am using a old, old blush. This palette that I'm using is from a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. Becca is not even in business anymore, so you know how old this is, but it doesn't matter. Just find you a pinky mauve blush and you'll get the same exact look. I try not to get hung up on the products that I'm using so much because you can find really good gems anywhere. Quality makeup is everywhere. You just have to take the time to find it. It doesn't matter the price range that it falls into. You can find good quality makeup everywhere. I am breezing through my brows because I don't have a structured brow routine. Sometimes I do it before my makeup. Sometimes I do it afterwards. It's not a big deal to me. It's really just to frame my face. Next, I am cleaning up my contour and blush with my Laura Mercier powder. Then I'm applying some underneath my eyes to catch the fallout that may or may not come with my eyeshadow. Granted, the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using are really creamy and buttery with minimal fallout, but it's just habit and it really does snatch my face together. Here, I'm cleaning up my nose contour with that same Laura Mercier powder and I'm just cleaning up my nose contour. I'm not applying any more products. Here, I am starting my eyeshadow look. Y'all, believe me when I say this is just a three color eyeshadow look. We're not gonna get bogged down with the details because it doesn't matter, because I want you to use whatever it is that you have. The first color is, is a light, warm brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna put that in my outer crease and my inner crease, going straight up to my brows. I am really just carving out my eyes so outer crease straight up to my brows. Just gonna take my time and build that color up. Then next, I am going to take a white cream eyeshadow and I'm gonna lay that in my inner corner. Why am I doing that? Because I have hooded eyes and I must be very strategic with where I place my eyeshadow. So darker colors on the outside of my eyes or the outer corner of my eyes and the lighter colors on the inside. I am very careful not to bring dark shadows in too close to the inner parts of my eyes because it will close my eyes up and they're already so small and I don't want to do that. Next, I'm going to take a deep dark brown shadow and I'm going to lay that on the very outer crease of my eye and I'm going to bring that in to my lash line. That's it. That's all I'm wearing on my eyes. It, it's not complicated. It does not take forever to do this. Just strategic placement is the key. Then I'm using that same dark eyeshadow and I'm going to place that under my lower lash line and I'm just gonna blend it out and that's it next I'm moving on to my tried and true L'Oreal telescopic in carbon black or black is black I have been using this mascara since 2013 okay I was in college when I discovered this I think I discovered it from Carly by Bell and I've been using it ever since. If you have short, stubby lashes, if you have curly lashes, L'Oreal Telescopic is for you. Here I'm applying my falsies, which is the Ardell Wispies. I double stacked them because I'm going for a bold look. I usually wear just one pair, but not for this look. 
because we're going for snatch and we're going for serving face and the category is face so with my hair pulled back i tend to be a little bit more sculpted with my looks and i'm using this disposable doe foot applicator just to ap apply a dark brown shadow above my lashes next i am brushing off my bake very important i am using the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and this is why i'm telling you this powder is worth the hype you see what it's doing to my face look look at the screen look at it all the divisions have now come together it is blending my makeup perfectly this powder literally adds an airbrush filter to your face even if you can't blend it will do the blending for you even if you have a terrible brush it will do the blending for you So today I chose to do a classic holiday look with a bold red lip. I'm using NARS Don't Stop Power Matte Liquid Lipstick and it ties this look perfectly together.